Hey guys, welcome to my channel Flavors of my world. Today I'm here with the recipe of a no bake dessert. Yes, it's been quite a while since I have made any no bake dessert on this channel, but today it is here. It is a Oreo fudge. Yes, it looks delicious and it is actually very very delicious. So to know how to make this, make sure to watch this video till the end. First of all, we will prepare the tin. For that, I have taken a 5 into 5 inch square tin, brush it with oil and line it with butter paper on both sides and leave a bit of butter paper on the top of the tin so that it becomes very easy to demold. Now once that done, we will prepare our bottom layer that is the dark chocolate fudge. For that, take 75 grams of dark chocolate, chop it up into really small pieces. Add it to a bowl. To that, add 50 ml of sweetened condensed milk, pinch of salt and 1 teaspoon vanilla essence. Now we will melt it. For melting it, either microwave it for 45 to 60 seconds by stirring it at a 15 second interval or use a double boiler. For double boiler, take a bowl with some water in it, bring it to boil and then add the bowl with the chocolate on the top. Keep stirring continuously and make sure that the bowl of chocolate and water doesn't touch. Once it is melted, add 15 grams of unsalted butter to it. I am adding the butter later because in my previous try, the butter split while the water was too hot. That is why I added the butter later. Give it a good stir and once it is all melted, pour it into your prepared tin. Pour it slowly so that none of the dark chocolate fudge gets on the top side because it is a layered dessert and we want clean layers. Spread it with a butter knife if you have to and tap it vigorously so that we have a smooth top. Now we will set it in the fridge for half an hour. As it is a really thin layer, half an hour will be apt. Now after that we will prepare our white chocolate fudge. For that take 150 grams of white chocolate, chop it up into really small pieces Add it to a larger bowl. To that, add 150 ml of sweetened condensed milk, a good pinch of salt as white chocolate is really sweet in itself and 30 grams of unsalted butter. Now, we will melt it the same way that we melted the dark chocolate fudge. It will take you about 2-3 to three minutes in the double boiler and under a minute in the microwave. Once it is all melted, give it a good stir. Make sure that the chocolate is really not really hot at that point of time. Now we will add the Oreo biscuit to it. Here I have taken four Oreo biscuits. I have chopped up three into large pieces and one into really small pieces. Mix it all together and then pour it over the dark chocolate fudge. Make sure that the dark chocolate fudge has properly set. After you have poured the white chocolate fudge with Oreo on top, tap the tin vigorously so that the top layer is really smooth. And then we will set it in the fridge for a minimum of two hours. After it has been in the fridge of two hours. You can see it has completely set and the butter paper tin that we prepared, it makes it so easy to demold and the butter paper also comes off really smoothly, giving you really clean, clean edges. And as you can see, both the layers are so well defined in this. Now, once the butter paper is off, we will chop it into small pieces. Here I have chopped it into 9 pieces, but you can even chop it up into 16 small pieces, which will be apt for your, your making it for the kids. And guys, you need to try this. It is delicious. 
so if you like this recipe make sure to like this video by clicking it on the thumbs button thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel thank you guys